I say this morning. Hello, Donna. Hello, Advastar. Hello, Compassion. Good morning. Good morning, Vinny, Trisha, Gerald, Geraldo, Ragged, Jamie, uh, Rodeo, Bow, How to Basic, Jim. No hate here. Yellow Snowman. I like Yellow Snowman. I mean, you know, I generally don't like gross little <laughs> names, but I don't know. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know. That one made me laugh a little bit. Snowmen are such happy thoughts. <laughs> the yellow snowman <laughs> made me chuckle a little bit. So good morning, Ma, the yellow snowman. And thank you all for joining. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, create and be great. That's kind of a nice slogan as well. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Wednesday morning. It is, I think it's April 26th. It is about 5.59 or 5.58 a.m. Happy Wednesday. It's a little show. I have been doing. It's a show I've been doing for quite some time. It's a show about me sharing some feelings, sharing some ups and downs, some lessons I learned, some things I got going, some adventures. <laughs> Sometimes I do a little bitching. I'll do a little bitching like I'll complain about my sore knee or some stress or some lack of sleep. But I try not to make it a show about my bitching. I'm trying. I mean, I don't try and keep a positive attitude. I try and keep a positive attitude, I guess, in life, not just for this show. I'm doing great, mate. How are you? You got your socks on? I'm glad you have your socks on. One of my viewers has their socks on. They sound like they're from Australia. They call me mate. I do not have socks on. I have just my slippers on. I prefer socks and sandals to socks and slippers. I kind of like the nice soft feel of the inside of my uh, slippers on my bare feet. Sometimes I'll wear socks with them. But I, right now in the summer, warmer months, feels good. So anyway, <laughs> this is more than, for those who have been watching a while, you know this is a whole lot uh, more than uh, uh, a show about me, you know, talking and just rambling and stuff. It's also a show for those that have been watching a while. Good morning, BirdCon. It is a show about me uh, sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got what looks to be a massive cup of coffee in front of me. It's not that massive. It's 16 ounces, but it's a nice sized cup of coffee. And I am so excited to take my first sip at this early hour. Just woke up about 15 minutes ago. Didn't want to get out of bed. I was, I, I knew, I knew. I could see the light coming up through my window. I knew it was time to get up, but somehow I hoped and thought and maybe even prayed a little bit that it was still like three in the morning and I could enjoy my bed for a little longer and enjoy the quiet and enjoy the peace. But no matter how much I hoped and prayed and wanted all those things, I knew it wasn't going to happen. So rather than fuss and fret and struggle, I turned my mind to gratitude and thanks and appreciation. And I'll tell you what, that might be our biggest ally is gratitude. Um, is gratitude. Because so often in life, and again, I laugh and I'm smiling and I, I'm joyous and I'm full of hope and full of optimism. And I was kind of born that way. 
But I think my mind had a tendency to control things. And I'm getting ahead of it because we still haven't had our coffee and I'm so excited for it. But I think our, my mind had a tendency to, my thoughts had a tendency to control my life and my attitude as they probably do for us all. And if my thoughts were focused on negative stuff or fret or anxiety or fear, uh, that's the way my day went. But as I'm getting older and I'm 54, hello, uh, I realize worry and fear isn't product, aren't productive and gratitude and thanks, thankfulness are productive. So as I grumble about my day rather than going, crap, my house is a mess, or crap, it's cold out, or crap, I got to wake up. I, I'm getting better and better at saying, thank you, Lord, for this, or thank you, Lord, for that, or just thank you, Lord, sometimes. I think it's the most important prayer that matters. Uh, most important prayer, saying thank you, Lord, and just being appreciative and giving thanks and realizing we're blessed and there's good in the world and there's positivity and our uh, thoughts control our lives. And, uh, uh, you know, if we keep our thoughts in gratitude, our lives are going to be a hell of a lot better. And I'm getting better at that. But with all that said, as you know, this isn't a show of just about me talking or even being grateful, although I think it's very important. It's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me and I'm so excited to take my first sip. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing on this Wednesday morning with the sun rising in the east, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I said that kind of joking, but I'm serious. For anybody out there struggling or feeling crappy or worried about things or... Because, I, man, I got things to worry about, too. And I got struggles, too. Thank you so much, uh, Kevin. Um, do this today and, and try and say thank you, Lord, as often as you can, you know. You'll, it, it's, it, it, at one point, you might still be feeling cruddy or worried or scared or nervous or in pain or depressed or sad. But, you know, after the third or fourth thank you, Lord, you'll almost start chuckling and it'll almost make you laugh because you'll go, I don't know. You'll look at your messy kitchen and you, your first instinct will be to say, crap, I got a messy kitchen. I should have cleaned it last night. But then you'll go, wait. <laughs> Coffee with Kim reminded me to be grateful. And you'll say, thank you, Lord. And you'll go, I don't even know what I'm thankful for, but thank you, Lord. And I think it's almost important to put the Lord at the end. You don't have to. I'm, I choose to. But for me, I think it's kind of important to give a name to what we're thankful for. But maybe it's not, but it's what I do. Thank you so much, Jake. <laughs> thank you, Lord, for my YouTube achievement. I, uh... Uh, again, I, I think the point is, if you're showing gratitude, it can change your attitude. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. If you're showing gratitude, it can change your attitude really quickly. And again, I wake up and I'm going, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then I go, wait a minute, let's not do that. I'm in a comfy bed. I'm safe. I've got coffee waiting for me in the fridge. It's not actually waiting for me. I still got to make it. But thank you, Lord, for my Mr. Coffee Pot, which makes such delicious coffee, which is coconut, toasted coconut, uh, uh, toasted coconut mocha for those that are wondering, and I'm sure you are. So let's have another sip. Mm. Thank you, Lord. It really is uh, life-changing. It, it really is life-changing. Uh, the gratitude mindset, and it's something I'm coming to in prayer, and you know I'm a work in progress as we all kind of are, and trying to get a little better every day. And you know you can go, all right, I'm going to go to the gym every day, but if you have a bad, at, you know that'll help a little bit. But if you're still living in fear or without thankfulness or gratitude or feeling lonely, you're just a good. Sh a person in good shape, yeah, you've got a couple extra endorphins running through your body because the exercise does that. But I think the real key is gratitude. And I think the, uh, 
Uh, again, it can kind of wash out all the crap we have in our lives. Uh, let's see. I, w- <laughs> I was going to complain about my bad eyes, but thank you, Lord, for allowing me to see. <laughs> see, and it's kind of funny. You can chuckle at it, the gratitude, because my first instinct was going to go, darn it. Every morning when I wake up, it's harder and harder to read the comments and the names. Dang it, I'm going blind. Oh, I should make an eye doctor appointment. Oh, crap, that would cost money. Oh, when am I going to do it? How am I, you know, and your mind can start racing down a negative path. Or you can just say, thank you, Lord, that I am allowed to see or that I have vision (laughs) and then drink your coffee. And it makes you feel so much better. The gratitude and the coffee. Mm. So anyway, how are you guys doing? (laughs) How are you feeling? How'd you sleep? Oh, felt good to sleep to me. I had a, I mean, I, yesterday was my day off. Even my day off just feel like busy days. I actually almost in some ways my day off feel like more busy days. Uh, for anybody new to the show, hello, I like Mr. Clean. You can call me Bruce Willis. Some call me uh, the guy from uh, Breaking Bad. Some call me Howie Mandel. Occasionally, uh, there's a couple other ones. <laughs> I think what you're all saying <laughs> is we all we we all white bald men look alike. <laughs> so I like Bruce Willis. I like Mr. Clean. No, I'm not a son. Walter White. Now Walter White, the, the, his 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 brother-in-law. I think they say Hank or something like that. His brother-in-law, the FBI guy. I only saw the first couple seasons of uh, of uh, of uh, Breaking Bad. Everyone said it was their best show ever. I thought the first bit was good, and it, I don't know, I don't know. I didn't get fully caught up, and I think the problem with me was I watched it uh, like a lot of people do. I crammed it, or I, I started making it a job to watch two shows every uh, uh, night. And it just felt like a chore after a while. Cause sometimes I'd watch three or four to catch up or something like that. And uh, uh, getting some weird comments today. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the weird comments. But uh, anyway, I uh, uh, again, it was my day off yesterday. I've been a realtor for 17 years. I left that at the beginning of the year. I'm searching for my next things in life, but I'm not spending too much anxiety or stress searching or trying to find it. I think with a good attitude and uh, positivity and moving forward and gratitude and doing what I'm doing, uh, <laughs> I think come on. I think the opportunity will find me. And I think it is. And despite the fear that is in my heart sometimes, uh, I don't know, I get up and I Push that aside and I smile a little bit. Uh, How can you be happy in life? Easy ice cold pizza. Well, start heating up your pizza, gosh darn it. I mean, cold pizza is pretty good. Ice cold pizza doesn't sound good at all. Uh, But start heating up your pizza. And then when you take that first bite, say, thank you, Lord, for this bite of pizza. And then when you are driving off to work, say, thank you, Lord, for my car. Thank you, Lord, for my job. Thank you, Lord, for my boss, even my grumpy boss, especially my grumpy boss, because he teaches uh, his grumpiness, shows me, uh, gives us an example for what I don't want to be, honestly, and I don't want to be grumpy, and I see the way his negative energy impacts the world and those around him, and uh, I want to be better, and I want uh, my positive energy and positive uh, vibes to impact the world in a positive way, and uh, it works. Where am I from or live? I currently live in Naperville, Illinois. It's a nice town of about 145,000 people just west of Chicago. And I mean, just west, it's about 35 miles west of Chicago. It's kind of a, I mean, I wouldn't call it famous. It's a pretty decent sized town uh, in Illinois. And it often wins uh, like best places to live or best place to raise a family or what have you. It's a nice town, Um, great schools, good people. Great downtown, great downtown. Uh, For a suburb, you know, it's pretty darn cool. I don't drink alcohol anymore, but there's lots of bars and restaurants there. So lots of places to spend your days drinking alcohol. That's what I did for a long time. It's funny. 
you give up drinking and you're going, what, what, what do you do? You know, before, if I ever had the question, what do I do? I'd go, hey, there's the lantern. Let's go in and have a beer and watch some TV. Hang out and talk to my friends and get my drunk on. <laughs> Sorry, that was my Texas accent. Somebody just said they're from Texas. and Naturally, I tried to throw out my best Texas accent. Thank you, Lord, for my best Texas accent. Let's have a little more coffee. Mm. But anyway, I'm working at Super Target now. And I've um, been doing that for just about three months. And I enjoy that. And I enjoy uh, going live. And I go live pretty much every morning as I'm waking up, as I'm brewing my coffee. Good morning, RJ. Good morning, Lois Davis. You guys are late this morning. I think you're going to have to set your alarms. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you, Lord, for RJ and Lois. <laughs> My theme of the show, RJ and Lois, is thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's gratitude. Because uh, I woke up fretting a little bit. And I flipped it over and all of a sudden I'm laughing and smiling and giggling. And thanking the Lord for all sorts of things. Uh, and I bet if I keep doing it throughout my day, I bet you I'll have a great, great day. And I say it, you know, kind of joking, but I mean it. Because uh, it does work. And... Uh, so anyway, I'm uh, got to be at work in forty. Get to be, get to be it. Uh, oh, RJ, I've already cranked out about twenty things I'm grateful for. You can't come on to the late show. You can't come late to my show and just start dominating it and pushing me around. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. I'm kidding. Thank you, Lord, for RJ. See, there's one thing I'm grateful for right now. <laughs> I can't. I'm not a moderator. I don't know how. You're going to have to do it to yourself, RJ. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I enjoy doing, going live. And, hey, Aqua Woman. <laughs> I think what Aquaman sent out is brain waves. And you guys aren't old enough to remember the like early 70s uh, superheroes show. But I think when he sent out brain waves, there might have been a sound associated with it. And all of a sudden, a bunch of whales or fish would come back. or He'd get the electric eels a lot because he found electric eels to be useful for some reason. I mean, you can imagine some uses an electric eel might have. Do uh, stock Pop-Tarts? So many flavors. Now, that's a good question, RJ. I appreciate that. Yes, I do stock Pop-Tarts. Yes, they are in aisle nine. I stock, I'm in charge of aisle nine and ten at, at my local Super Target, and it's a very fancy, very nice Super Target. I went grocery shopping there last night with my little nugget of love, Augie, and I bought some things. I did not buy Pop-Tarts, but I thought about it. I walked down aisle nine, ten with some pride, and yes, there are a lot of flavors to Pop-Tarts, and yes, there's a lot of flavors to cereal. As I was uh, dropping my uh, little nugget of love back off to his mama's house last night, I looked up on the top of her fridge and there was like Fruity Berry Cheerios. And there's like 10 varieties of Cheerios these days. And each cereal has three different sizes just about. And there's some, you know, there's just so many varieties of everything. Do this frosting you put on yourself, huh? Uh, hey, Artsy Girl, thank you so much for following the host. I so appreciate that. One of my uh, longer time watchers congratulated me on uh, hitting uh, uh, a goal I set uh, back, I think it was in January. I set a couple of goals. I set a goal for here on TikTok and I set a goal uh, for YouTube. Haven't quite made, I wanted it by March 31st and here we are near end of April and I'm still not there. I'm drinking the toasted coconut this morning, and I'm thankful for it, although I'm also thankful for the cinnamon dolce I'm going to buy today at the store. Mm. And uh, what was I saying? That's something very important. When I got so excited about my coffee, I lost track. Sometimes that happens. It's Starbucks. I mostly drink Starbucks. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably an elitist attitude. Target has a brand called Good and Gather, which makes some pretty darn good coffee as well. And, I mean, they make all sorts. It's kind of their generic brand, and they make all sorts of products. And I generally enjoy their products, and they're usually a couple dollars cheaper than the Starbucks or what have you. 
And last fall, I got into the pumpkin spice by the Good and Gather. And uh, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is a great coffee, and Green Mountain's a great coffee. I generally drink my Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, for some reason, that seems like a road coffee for me when I'm going on the road. Uh, no, I've never tried Bustella. I get an extra large coffee with cream from Dunkin' Donuts sometimes. Usually get some donuts as well. Sometimes I get those little wraps. They're delicious. The sausage and egg and cheese wrap. Mm -hmm. They're so good from Dunkin' Donuts. But anyway, that nice big styrofoam extra large coffee with cream can be your friend for a long drive. And whenever you're getting bored, you go, oh yeah, I got this nice large coffee with cream and this nice styrofoam. Uh, and uh, uh, keeps you going. So let's have a little more coffee. Good morning, Mama Hamilton. Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches from the frozen section. You love your Keurig. Yeah, no, I could see loving your Keurig, and I bet you those Jimmy Dean sandwiches. RJ, I, I mean, I was going to say, RJ, I trust you on food choices, but I don't. I don't. I think you know that. You want me to eat pickle and peanut butter sandwiches, and I'm not going to do it. Uh, but I trust you on your breakfast selections, RJ. Somewhere along your childhood, your mama must have dropped you on your head. And, uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Made you start eating pickle and peanut butter sandwiches. Hello, artsy girl. Your mom touches your, uh, Kerrig. Hello, Julie Flanagan. Thank you for joining, Julie Flanagan. I think I saw your name cruising by, but you're kind of qu quiet. You were kind of quiet, but I thought you might have liked my video a little bit ago. So I noticed. I'm glad to see you commenting. Uh, only when there's not enough water. You're an amazing cook. I bet you are, RJ. And you know how? Because I saw you, your shiny skillet. Your skillet in that video you did the other day with the hash browns. Your skillet looked perfectly seasoned and cleaned and just the way it's supposed to be. It looked almost like a commercial skillet. So I bet you're, for a man that takes that good of care of his skillet, Probably knows his way around the kitchen, even if he's delusional and enjoys peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Hey, you're welcome, shark bait. <laughs> Not sure what that means. Uh, RJ, I love my cast iron skillet too. I have a lodge. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's freaky heavy. It's reasonably priced. And uh, the girl entangled uses it as a weapon quite nicely. So I love my skillet. Uh, I don't know how to cook that well, but I think we learn by better or by doing and we get better by doing and I try, I used to be afraid of the skillet a little bit because I didn't know how to clean it exactly and I just said, screw it, it's a cast iron skillet. Let's go for it, let's do it and let's start just kind of learning and I think my cooking's gotten a little better. I think my cooking's gotten a little better just working at my grocery store like I do. Uh, it's allowed me to be more experimental. One silly little thing for any single men watching out there uh, that are ba very basic cooks. Uh, I buy like a two pound pack of ground beef when I'm out and I cook it all up at once and I use it for things like, and I put it in a Tupperware and leave it in my fridge for a few days and it stays good. And I use it for like spaghetti sauce and nachos and I don't know, little random snacks. If I need a little protein, I'll just take a big chunk and shove it in my mouth and it kind of sticks to my ribs and it feels real good. Makes my cooking much better. The other thing I like to do is buy uh, different sauces. I think sauces often make the meal. And again, I do a lot of nachos or quesadillas just because they're simple and tasty as heck. And uh, we have a global food section with a ton of different Mexican foods and sauces and what have you. And uh, there's so many different delicious, you know, I used to always get, uh, what is it, paste or something, the red medium or hot sauce, but it's fun trying some green ones with avocado or uh, cilantro or whatever and mixing it up a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's fun. I think, I think cooking is kind of an art form as well. I think these videos are art form. I think music and uh, painting is as well. Uh, but I think there are opportunities for our, our, us to uh, express ourselves and try different things and experiment. And, you know, I think, I think I'd probably enjoy painting if I uh, started. I don't know. 
And I think I used to put too much pressure on to do a great job or make it look perfect or paint the Mona Lisa or the Sistine Chapel. But I think uh, just using it as an opportunity to play and be a kid and express yourself and try and not worry about it uh, might be uh, healthy endeavors for me, for sure, probably for a song. But anyway, but anyway, it's 623. I got to be at work in 37 minutes. A southern food. Ooh, southern food is good. Grits with cheese this morning. It is Wednesday, Martha. Martha, you're a little late to the show. I'm being kind of a grump today. I've scolded, scolded a few of my regular viewers for being late. Now I'm retired from cooking. Julie, you sound like you're really enjoying the retired life. Julie was working, I think, for 37 years as a teacher, you know, and then she raised three boys and she had to cook all the time. She's a silent hammer. Where have you been? Where have you been? Got some of my regular viewers tuning in a little late, and I'm scolding them all. I mean, thank you, Lord, for Silent Hammer and for Julie Flanagan and for Art J and Artsy Girl and uh, everybody else that's watching, because uh, that was my theme of the day. Uh, a little gratitude and a little thanks, and I realized I was waking up kind of going, oh, crap, I want more sleep, and then I flipped it over and focused on gratitude and thanking the Lord for everything that came along my path today. And uh, it's made me uh, <laughs> uh, smile a little bit and giggle a little bit and enjoy my time I'm spending with you. And I appreciate you liking my high voice, Artsy Girl. I throw a lot of random voices in. I think I got that from my mom. My mom passed three or four years ago. I think uh, the older I get, the more I realized I was, I'm, a little like, I'm more like my mom than I knew. She was a little crazy. I might be a little crazy. Thank you, Lord, for my mom. I think she's looking down on me and hopefully smiling at my high voice. Hopefully not stressing too much about my life because she probably would. She was a little bit of a warrior. She was emotional. She'd get, uh, her emotions would swing, my emotions swing. She liked baths. I like baths. She had a lot of love in her heart. I think I got a lot of, it, lot of love in her heart. My heart. Yeah. She probably loved the job working at Super Target. She was super smart and she did a lot of great things, but I think she would have loved working it. She loved cereal. She loved her family. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's Wednesday morning. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I got to get, I get to get to my breakfast and get to my shower and get to work and get to my day. And I'm looking forward to my day and stocking shelves and spreading a little love and joy and smiles. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much for joining. I appreciate this nice hot cup of coffee. Which honestly isn't that hot anymore, but I have plenty of more hot coffee in the kitchen that I'm going to fill up as I'm eating my cereal. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you had a great night's sleep. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you are forgiving yourself. And uh, as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.